Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining me uh, today. We're going to be talking about the vaginal wellness and the importance of having our pH well balanced as a woman uh, for our overall health. Uh, so my name is Manon Pilon, and I'm very uh, excited to be with you. The sponsorship today is Nelly Diverse. As you are most, most of you know, I've been with this brand for more than 38 years or 37 years. I think I'd stop at 37. <laughs> Uh, so I'm very proud to say that Nelly Diverse is behind the entire research of uh, BioFam, which we're going to be talking about uh, today, and also uh, one of the research that we came uh, about is about the balance of the pH is the most important. It has to be between pH 3.8 to 4.1 in order to be healthy. Um, and literature today, uh, most liter literature, uh, still, you know, associated the pH to a pH 4.5. And you'll see how that small difference make, uh, you know, can impact your life uh, in this presentation today. So we're going to be talking about, of course, women's wellness. It's a, you know, it's, it's a concern because we never thought that yeast or pH unbalance can actually affect your health, can actually affect your memory, can actually affect your bloating uh, and many other symptoms or degenerative um, you know, disorders. So uh, it started like, like this. It started with, uh, with me and my family. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna be talking uh, to you about very confidential and very um, uh, private information, but I think it's important we share. You know, it's, if we don't share, then that's not, we don't learn. Uh, so I personally had a history of, uh, you know, um, yeast infection, reoccurrent yeast infection. And of course, when I'm young, I wanted to wear uh, jeans, just simple jeans and tight clothing. And I couldn't because that same day I would develop the yeast infection. So that's how it all starts. Of course, I go to my mom because I'm younger. And then my mom says, well, let me bring you to the gynecologist. I, you know, maybe it's a family history. And of course, you know, when I, get, I got to the gynecologist, he said, well, yeah, you're like your mom. And, um, you know, you will have yeast infection every time you wear pants. And uh, it's recurrent. It happened, well, you know, it will happen to you. That's the time, oh, crazy. oh, I appreciate if you can put your, uh, your microphone on, um, on, on off or by, yeah, off. Thank you. So, so at the time, I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to see my gynecologist, and he's telling me it's like my mother. So I get used to it, and every time he would do a prescription, because back in the days, uh, we had to have a prescription if we wanted to treat uh, yeast infection or all kinds of um, um, infection, as a, you know, as a, an example. So it ha I had to go, you know, to get my um, my prescription. So at the age, so my daughter, this is my daughter on the screen, her name her name is Sarah. And at her, when she got eight years old, today she's 18, she's a lot older than this picture, but when she was eight, she started to develop reoccurring uh, yeast infection to the point where I had to take her to the, to the hospital and she was hospitalized for three days. So the first time, okay. Second time, I'm like, no, this is, has to stop. What I found is that uh, in her underwear, she would have like a bleaching spot, almost like I, as a mother, would actually bleach her underwear. So I actually took it, put it in a plastic bag and brought it to, to the hospital and asked the chief of the gynecology at the uh, general hospital here in Montreal. I said, you know, uh, children's hospital. I had asked, I said, you know, I want to have answers because what is this, you know, how is that happening? It's bleached. It's almost like it's really bleaching, uh, uh, you know, her underwear. It's no longer, you know, pink. It's actually white. How is that actually after cleansing? It's not me to put uh, the, you know, any forms of, um, any form of javel or any form of uh, chlorine or a product that could actually chemically bring it white. So they said, you know, let, let's discuss. They brought three gynecologists on board and then they said, you know what, we don't have an answer for you, but we will investigate. From that moment, I'm like, okay, uh, we need to find an answer for my, this is my daughter. She's not gonna live what I've lived and deprive myself from wear, you know, wearing pants, uh, uh, for wearing jeans and so on. So I started researching and I put the entire team uh, on that subject. And so the first product that uh, was developed in this brand is called Zone Control. And it's basically the, the, the famous product, I should have called Sarah's product, uh, that basically solved all our issues. Um, so this is how it all started. So I thought uh, you know, I'd share this story uh, with you. So of course, we're talking about the external genital uh, going to talk uh, inside. We're really working on the out, outer side. 
So we're working on the labia minora and the labia majora. That's our main uh, goal. And we're going to be talking about the importance of your pH. I don't know if you knew the importance of your taking your vaginal pH. Uh, so it's, I'm going to refer to microbiota because in your, you know, in your uh, uh, vaginal flora, you have a combination of uh, microbiomes, which is a combination of yeast and bacteria that is necessary for us to be healthy. Uh, but what happens is if we don't take on a regular basis our pH, uh, you know, a few questions came about, and I'll share that with you, is my mother passed away from Alzheimer's. And there's a direct link that we have found that people with more candida albicans that are becoming um, like um, um, a yeast that becomes um, more like mold, not yeast, but mold, uh, then it could actually, there's a direct link with either um, memory loss uh, and potentially Alzheimer's. So it's a very interesting component uh, uh, understanding because when we do develop it in our gut, gut, it actually has an influence. So the question is, why is it that we have more women uh, who have the, uh, you know, unfortunately uh, Alzheimer's versus men? Uh, so it's interesting to know that the data shows that more women develop Alzheimer's, but at the same time, we die older as a female. So it's a very interesting component, uh, uh, I mean, part of, of this lecture today to insist for you to take your pH. So this is a litmus paper that she holds in her, her hand. And, it, you know, there's a very specific uh, litmus paper that we want to look for. So you want to go to your clinic to get your uh, litmus paper by your gynecologist or your aesthetic practice that will give you that paper so that you can measure within 30 to 45 seconds, you can actually know what is your pH. If you score within a pH 3.8 to 4.1, you are healthy. So you don't need anything. But if you don't, you should be concerned. Do not stay that way. So we're going to talk a little bit of what's the importance of, our, um, of the pH. Of course, we said we've discovered, our study demonstrated that uh, candida albicans, which is very important uh, part of our microbiota, so part of our uh, microbiota or vaginal flora, uh, has to be between 3.8 and 4.1. Remember that. So here is the most important part. So if you're at 4.5, like most literature, you're already off. So we need to keep in mind that 3.8 to 4.1 is ideal, depending, of course, your gene or your you know, genetic heritage. Uh, 4.2 to 4.5, we know that there's a growth taking place and it becomes pathogenic. So your candida albicans, which is yeast, uh, fungi becomes mold and that's not good and that's you're going to find out what it actually released in a few minutes well what we do know is the candida albicans that yeast that fungi is necessary part of our um, flora so they need to live well in harmony with uh, you can see here with the cells of our uh, epithelium uh, with our cells of our skin and of course with with each other it's all working in balance and so we all know that we're all different. So we all have different background and genes, um, and that's what makes us unique. So you all read my book, uh, you know, uh, anti-aging based on your body type, and it's all based on Hippocrates. So basically, there's specific body type in our, in my research, that are directly linked to reoccurring yeast infection. Why? Because part of their uh, microbiota, they have a higher count of candida albicans. This is the uh, green square in my book, which is the bilious morphology, and also the yellow rectangular, which is the um, nervous body type. This is the body type that if you look at the bones of these people, they have a petite bone or medium-sized bone. If you look at their muscular system, it's medium-sized uh, muscle. They're not big and husky. Uh, they usually have a thin waist and large shoulder. One thing that we find is that they always have their feet and hands cold. So these particular body type will be more predisposed to yeast um, infection. So it's interesting to know. So this pH paper, uh, is, it's a gynecology pH paper. It's not a pH paper we can buy online. Uh, you know, in, in most cases, they're not available. It's through your gynecologist, your pharmacist, or medical supply. Um, at Derm & Co, we, of course, we offer that. Uh, or at, at uh, your clinic, you know, if most clinic that works with BioFam offer that uh, free pH testing. So you can actually just request. But what's important is that the pH ratio goes between 3.6 and 
you can see it's a very narrow. It's not between zero to 14. Otherwise, it won't be so precise. So it's really a gynecology uh, litmus paper. So when you're going to be given that paper, that pH paper, is you just insert it uh, into the vagina at the uh, outer part. So into the labia minora, in, kind of inside. Uh, and you leave it there for 30 seconds. You make sure you don't touch the red por portion, as we mentioned uh, earlier. Don't touch the red portion. And if you're older, you want to leave it there to 45 seconds. If you're younger, 30 seconds, you'll know right away. Now, this is what's very interesting. So there are candida albicans yeast, the fungi. So we said the yeast is good when only it's at the pH of 3.8 to 4.1. And again, when it becomes mold, so that yeast, that same yeast turn into mold, is that's really bad at pH 4.2. It starts to deteriorate and alter your pH and affects your, your overall uh, health. So this, what we found in our study is that 72 a byproduct are released from the candida albicans. So what happens is that when it turns into mold, it actually releases those uh, acetaldehyde, um, acetaldehyde, sorry, ammonia. So finally the answer for my daughter uh, is here. The ammonia was actually bleaching the underwear of my daughter. We're all made differently. It doesn't mean that you don't have bleaching, you don't have a pH that's balanced or not. Uh, some people have some discharge, some people have odor, some people don't. We're all made differently. In her case, she had the bleaching. Uh, uric acid, I mean, just, just to go back on the acetaldehyde, it's directly linked to, you know, uh, gas or, or actually feeling, you know, uh, tired or having fatigue because those are neurotoxins or endotoxins that are released into your body and affecting and even, you know, deteriorate and into degenerative uh, diseases. So sometimes you may have a, a headache all the time, a reoccurring headache, and you don't know what it's from. Uh, I said bloating, uh, fatigue, you're just tired all the time. You don't know what it's, what it's why. Um, there's so many factors, and one of the major ones that concerns me is memory loss. So it's interesting, and I, a lot of research, we work with a lot of research um, uh, university uh, and research center to see is there really a link with the candida albicans the yeast connected with, of course, memory loss. So it's interesting, keep your pH always at 3.8 uh, and 4.1. So why does it just suddenly gets off? You know, what actually affects our pH uh, to, to be, you know, to be uh, altered? So the number one is, of course, antibiotic. Antibiotic will, you know, unbalance your entire flora, your microbiomes. And of course, that may cause pathogenic growth because your immune, your immune system is not there to defend you. Stress, I mean, who is not stressed at this, this time, this period? So stress may somehow uh, interfere and unbalances your pH. Hormones, uh, so when you're older, 50, you know, 51 and over menopause or even perimenopause, uh, you may have a decline in hormones and that automatically affects your pH. So you become more dry, not just dry down there, your dry skin, everything is becoming uh, more dry. So those are factors. So we will we'll teach you a few uh, pointers on how you can keep uh, the pH balanced so it doesn't affect uh, your dryness, uh, et cetera. Uh, chlorine, whenever you go in the swimming pool, certain people, you know, it will never affect them. But some others, people that like myself are genetically predisposed, then of course it will affect my stuff. It will affect me. Uh, so we, I need to use prebiotics or a product that will give me the balance back to my lactobacilli bacteria so that everything uh, goes back to normal. Uh, so we need to pay attention. Fragrance, you know, sometimes people, they just put nice perfume and fragrance. They go to the gynecologist, they just want to smell good, or they have those uh, wipes that smells full of perfume. Well, that will alter your pH. Um, those chemicals will affect those sprays, bath, uh, you know, sulfate. As soon as it becomes a bubble bath, you know that the sulfate may affect your pH. So maybe, again, it never affects you, but for certain people, it will affect them. Synthetic material, for, for example, myself, I can only wear cotton underwear. If it's not 100% cotton, I will have a yeast infection. It's guaranteed. 
the way I'm, I've learned that I am born in. So if I know this, I will, of course, you know, buy um, products that are not synthetic, uh, that will not cause an intoler intolerance. So um, tampon, you know, people sometimes they leave it in for more than four hours, it's crazy. So of course it affects your pH. Uh, we said soap, bar of soap will aff affect your pH for certain people that are predisposed. Uh, friction and humidity. Some of you go on your bike right now, you know, you go outside. Well, the heat, first of all, the heat actually proliferates, multiply those, those uh, yeast um, component. And then the friction, as soon as you have the friction, then that actually stimulate more of the pathogenic growth uh, in that uh, uh, flora, the vaginal flora. So that's not good. Tight clothing, the, you know, the G-strings, people wear this. They wear those tight uh, molding pants. Well, this for people like myself will automatically uh, get my pH off and then pathogenic growth will take place. Uh, and the diet, you know, as soon as you eat more sugar, sweets, anything that's sugary, uh, even banana, anything that's sweet can actually alter uh, your pH. And then those yeast, those fungi, they feed from it and they multiply. It's their feeding. So if we know that we're predisposed, we have to cut down maybe by 50%. Same thing with alcohol. Uh, we know that stress is one of the main, one of the main uh, stressor. Uh, and of course, I didn't mention, but drinking, uh, drinking water is necessary. Drinking lots of water during the day. Uh, so it, there is different food that we should avoid and food we should eat. Generally speaking, I mean, you have it on the screen. Uh, it's good to know. But as a, just as a general rule, anything that's sweet, anything that's yeast making, we should stay away from. And things we should stay, you know, uh, we should stick to uh, is basically vegetable, everything that's colored vegetable, and that's not sweet. Uh, that's a general rule. Now drinking water, 1.5 liter per day. So we have found that people that don't drink a lot of water, at least 1.5 liter per day, may develop yeast infection. So you, you've tried everything, you've cut down the sugar, you're not doing any friction, you're not in the heat and the, you, the sweat, you know, sometimes even doing exercise, the humidity. Uh, you're taking care of everything, but you're not adding the hydration. So water is necessary. Now, it's so confusing, you know, what product do we choose? If I don't know if you've been out in the different uh, department stores or pharmacies that now are offering so many products, how do we actually choose? You know, that's sometimes very uh, confusing. One thing is for sure, we wanna always look at ingredients. Ingredients, why? Because there is chemical that will actually counter some, some uh, effect or affect you and disturb your pH and your symbiosis. So pay attention to, um, to what's in the product and what cumulative effect it will have on long runs. Nothing with perfume, uh, nothing with silicones, nothing with parabens, uh, because it may affect you. So of course, Nelly the Verse came about with the BioFam line. I'm very excited because of course, it did start with the zone control, the one here. It was really the reason why it all started. Uh, but we have an entire full line for this, for women's wellness. So let me briefly, very quickly introduce you. Uh, to every one of them. So first we have a cleansing, a cleansing foam. Very easy. If you're genetically predisposed, like I am, to yeast infection, reoccurring uh, candidosis, you want to buy this because that will prevent for it to happen. Uh, so every day you wash on a daily basis. You know, take a morning or night, doesn't matter, whenever you're in the shower or in a bath, that's what you cleanse with. If you're not genetically predisposed, you don't have to. Uh, but if you're predisposed to yeast, that's what you do. Now, if you have a pH that's higher than 4.2 at this time, just because you're maybe stressed or you're eating too much sweet, then you need to do a treatment. What's the treatment? It's zone control. So this treatment is quite uh, simple. It's effective. Of course, it's all organic certified. Uh, so it's safe to use at all age. And you use it between one to three days. So if you're at 4.2, which is very mild, you just do it one time. And usually in one time, 270,000 candida albicans, which is all the, the yeast component will be destroyed. So you don't remain on a product like this uh, forever. You just do it for one day or three days consecutively. So of course we have uh, amazing results with that uh, treatment. And you keep in mind that if you have a very minor, um, you know, pH unbalance, the heat or sweet, you know, whatever that may be, you just do it one, one day with the zone control. 
one, morning and night. You don't do anything else. You cleanse, of course, with the, the cleansing foam. And then for one day, morning and night, you just put, and this, it's very simple. If you look at the pump, it's pump and wipe. So it's quite easy. We made it very simple. And then if you're a pH 4.2 and over, you want to use the zone control for three consecutive days. After that, you stop. Simple. Now, of course, menopause, we know that unfortunately due to um, menopause, there's a lot of uh, things happening on our body due to, of course, a decrease of hormones, one of the main uh, cause of uh, unfortunate dryness and lack of um, uh, firmness. We don't produce as much fibroblast activity. So the fibroblast cells is in charge of producing your collagen and your elastin and everything becomes loose and dry. So keep that in mind because we need to know this because uh, one of the main factor of the, the, or the main cause of that dryness, especially in this area or overall, it's because, it, let's talk about the, the, the flora, the vaginal flora, is because the bacteria is very important. We have one bacteria that's in charge to keep the pH in good balance, and it's called the lactobacilli bacteria. That, with age, declines. So if it declines, you're no longer in good pH balance. So we need to feed uh, that bacteria with prebiotic. So prebiotic, we have two in uh, Nelly Diverse. That's your kind of your daily moisturizer, if you'd like. So it's quite nice because it's made out of a chicory. Uh, again, all plant extract, and that's your pH balance. So you pump, you wipe, that's your moisturizer every day. If you're menopause, perimenopause. If you're young, you don't really need that because your body actually you know, takes care of itself. Uh, but if you are going to go in a chlorine a pool, chlorinated pool, then of course you want to use this product or one of the two pH balance pro products. So we have the pH balancing gel and the soothing uh, pH gel. So one of those two products, why? Because we want to give those prebiotic, just reset the clock, reset the pH uh, just for a few days. Uh, and that's it, you put your product away. But if you're older, that's your daily moisturizer for down there. It's going to keep everything in balance and especially feed the bacteria that is necessary uh, to fight the fungi that we discussed um, earlier on. So pH balancing gel and soothing. What's the difference? Everything is the same. It's gonna give you the prebiotic and the moisture. What's a, the difference is the hyaluronic acid. This one, the soothing one, think of soothing. It's really for, it's, you know, as uh, we age, of course, it could be uh, more difficult uh, for relations. So that has hyaluronic acid, so it really plumps up the skin. So, but both have the same uh, function. They're both prebiotic, both moisturizers for down there. See them both at the screen. So they're both pH um, solutions for daily use. So you cleanse and you use this and that's it. Now, if you're menopause, you have a bit of looseness or you wanna do prevention and your pH is well balanced. Now, it's important that when you use the firming uh, toner or firming gel, your pH is in good health. That means you're between 3.8 to 4.1, why? It's a little bit like acne in the face. When you have acne in the face, you're not gonna start treating with anti-aging or anti-wrinkle product. You're gonna get rid of the acne first. So if your pH is off, it's the pathogenic growth is taking place. You wanna get rid of this first. So do a zone control for two, three days or one day, and then you can start your program of firming. So we have a firming toner and we also have a firming gel. So usually for perimenopause and menopause, it's really a skin tightening. It doesn't replace surgery, uh, laser resurfacing or uh, even erbium, you know, lasers. It doesn't replace that, but just does a great maintenance. Now, the maintenance of proto and the protocol, you cleanse, you do your pH, uh, one of the pH uh, uh, products, right, that we discussed earlier, your prebiotic. And then you do your firming uh, toner right after your shower, pH uh, with the, it's a spray, you do your pH toning, and of course your firming uh, gel. And if you have dryness throughout your whole body, we will apply the regenerating serum. Here it is. The regenerating serum is my, uh, my next favorite one, of course. Uh, why? Because it's made out of evening primrose, but the formulation is quite unique. Uh, I think you can see it on the screen. Here it is. Uh, so the regenerating serum will actually uh, help to synthesize the prostaglantin, which is a hormone that declines with age and causes that dry scaly skin, almost looks like you have crocodile skin on your skin. So if you have that crocodile skin, you want to get this. It fixed your skin like ama it's amazing, the results. Like two, three 
crocodile skin. And I'm not talking about um, using the regenerating serum within that area. I'm talking about your legs, your arms, anywhere you want. Even if you have eczema or if you have psoriasis, you will love this treatment as a product. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a female, it just works. Um, but like Dr. Latif out of New Jersey, a gynecologist, she recommends it for people that have dryness also within the, um, you know, the vaginal area. So it's, if you want to use it there or you use it on your skin, you use it on your hair, it's just a treatment for regeneration. The last product is the, um, uh, well, the one before last is the mask, the soothing mask. So this mask is used, if you want to shave, you want to shave with this mask. If you're predisposed to have those bumps on the skin or in grown hair, you want to use this mask after you shave or after you wax or after you do a laser hair removal treatment. It just suits the skin. A lot of people have sensitivity in this area. So when they have that kind of irritation, the skin is there to protect us and suddenly the skin has been traumatized. So right away it feels like burning or it feels uncomfortable. You put this cooling mask, it's cooling, it's a vasoconstrictor. Uh, you will have all your bumps gone uh, very fast and you're, you're not in pain anymore because some people are having a hard time to even walk after either waxing or even shaving. Uh, so you know, this is a great tool. It's a cooling mask. You're going to love it. You can even shave with it. And the last product is the ingrown hair uh, product. Now it's called ingrown hair complex. If you're predisposed to ingrown hair in your face, on your body, uh, on your legs, uh, and you see those hair that is going inside the skin, we can see, um, let me just take this slide. You can see here that at the antigen phase, that's the phase where the bulb is attached to the papilla. So where it's actually fed, and often the hair goes right inside, it curls right inside. It doesn't have the strength to get out. Um, so often the follicle is a little bit crooked, if you like, uh, or curved or it, like uh, it's swiveled. Uh, so what we want to do with this product, and one of the key ingredients is the Cyperus escalantis called tiger nut uh, oil. What it does is that it actually helps to make the, um, the papilla um, less nourish so that your hair becomes softer and doesn't have, whoops, does not have the strength to come out. So it really is amazing. So even on male, if you have uh, on, you know, a lot of ingrown hair on your face, we've had so much feedback on uh, this ingrown hair product. But of course, in the bikini area, if you do shave and you have a tendency to have those ingrown hair, um, again, this, this uh, in, it's simple, it's a name ingrown hair complex uh, is the solution for you. And the last, but nevertheless, is the Lubiel product. It's a lubricant. Of course, it doesn't have any of the chemicals uh, that are found, like silicones, et cetera. Uh, and I won't explain how you could use it, but if, definitely if you want a quality of lifestyle and you're 50 plus or 51 years old, because they associate uh, menopause at age 51, of course, you've, if you've not had a period after one year, you're considered menopause. Uh, so def definitely it, might, it may change your life. Oh, this was my slide for hair complex. Sorry, this was a little confused. Okay, now this is the entire uh, line that you see. And again, I want to insist on the fact, if you look at the bottom, the EcoCert Cosmos Organic, the largest organization in the world for organic certification. And when, when we say it's organic, it is organic because they control, they come and audit us twice a year. Uh, it is vegan. So again, very safe for all age, women of all age, young uh, women, young uh, child, it's, it's safe. Uh, and of course, without um, a GMO. So there is instruction flyer. If you go on Nelly Diverse uh, website, nellydiverse.com, and if you don't go to, um, you know, after this whole session, what would be good for you? There is a definite uh, questionnaire that you can go and answer, and it's going to give you all, you know, wh what product is right for you. And there's great video on Facebook if you ever you're looking for. So it gives you um, an entire, uh, you know, overseeing of all the possibilities uh, on MellyDiverse.com. We had a lot of uh, media exposure, and of course, the, the media exposure was on our line, anti-aging line, uh, the BioFam line, and of course, the BioAcne line. So all organic certified uh, formulation that is available for you. And Nelly Diverse, as you know, has been existing for more than, I want to say, 40, maybe eight years now. Uh, and it's a great product that, uh, you know, resolves so many uh, skin conditions. Uh, we have such amazing results. And once you try, you just stay with it uh, and, and stay very loyal uh, to the brand. 
So we had a lot of uh, media exposure. You can visit NellyDiverse.com uh, to, to see. And if you didn't have yet the opportunity to visit our channel, under if you, all you do is on Google, uh, type in YouTube. Uh, in YouTube, when you're in that channel, you type in Nelly Diverse, and you will see all the product by product. If you go on BioFem, uh, on the pink logo here, you will have all the different uh, education that I just provided in a more scientific way. So it's more detailed that we're taking the time talking about the ingredients. You should take a moment to visit this uh, website. If you have concern about acne, please visit the bioacne, the blue section, and anti-aging, of course, the biofam. The bioscience is coming soon. So please visit our YouTube channel. We have great Facebook Live if you haven't seen uh, them yet. I also did a Facebook Live on Nelly the Verse when it was first launched. You can also reach it on internet. Um, and at last, you can book your consultation with your clinic and visit all our channel, um, as well as a more education like this uh, that we have on acne, on rosacea, um, on hyperpigmentation, different class like this that are available for you on uh, YouTube. So again, I want to say thank you for joining me today. The class was also sponsored by Derm & Co. And just keep in mind that we have the Alaska uh, brand that uh, we're doing so well with the disinfectant. If you don't want to have dryness on your hands and want to have safety when it comes with uh, alcohol, um, Alaska is probably the answer uh, for you. And I encourage you to see our different promotion on the website. Again, I want to say thank you so much. <laughs>